I made a decision at the start of this week that I was going to allow my life to unfold and not resist the events of my life. The reason behind this decision um, has been the recognition that one of the most powerful and happy times of my life was when I made the same decision but specifically about opportunities to socialize or spend time with other people. Um, at that time, when I was 19 years old, I said yes to every opportunity to relate to people. Um, and it was scary and difficult for me, but it transformed my life and supported me considerably. This decision now is about taking that further than just that circumstance of my life and allowing um, the circumstances that arise in my day to day um, to be permitted by me. And instead of trying to change the outward situation, I am seeking to change what's going on inside of me. So I wanna help you understand a little bit more about this decision that I've made and why I am making it. So uh, today, a circumstance arose for me at work that I have been struggling with um, internally. Um, and I am applying this principle of allowing to the situation. I've been asked within my role to um, move on to a new project. I do project work within financial services. Um, and I've been quite content on the project that I've been on, but there's been a need that has arisen on another project and I've been asked to take that on instead. My first response within is no, I don't wanna do it. Um, and I'm fearful of a lot of things about taking on this new project. But in alignment with my decision at the start of the week, I am seeking to accept the situation. Um, I recognize that there are three predominant fears that I have. I've allowed myself to slow down my thinking, slow down my natural tendency to try to fix everything and sort it out, get control over everything. And I've recognized that within, I have these three fears from taking on this new pro project. The first is that I don't know if I can manage it all and I might fail. And then the second fear is that I don't know if I will be accepted by the broader team. And, and that brings fear to me as well. And then the third fear that I have about this new project um, that I will take on is that it might take up a lot of my time and then this might impact what I'm able to do outside of work. So with all this in mind, my, my normal reaction would be just to be angry and frustrated um, and resisting of even taking it on. I could say no, I could run away. I could, you know, like just separate myself from needing to do this project. I could just say to my boss, actually, you know, it's too much for me and I need to stay on the other one. So this is what in effect has been going on for me. So what is the opportunity that allowing gives me through this experience? The opportunity is that I get to work on my consciousness, my thoughts, the beliefs that I've identified with that do not serve me. And I also get the opportunity to release the emotion and transform the emotion that is going on within me. These are patterns within my being that I've created a long time ago um, that have taught me to resist certain circumstances and to control my life in a certain way. The opportunity that allowing gives me is that I can transform this experience and release this energy and move to a higher um, sense of life and love um, 
within my being. So that is what I'm choosing to do. Um, I am accepting the situation. I'm accepting that I have got this new project. Um, and I am trusting that it is not I who do the work, but life working and living through me. Not I, but the father, some might say. Um, and I'm permitting that life to be what is in control um, and what has the opportunity to do this work. I don't need to make it happen. I don't need to control it. I don't need to fix it. I just need to trust and allow. And then thirdly, I'll, I'm, I'm letting the emotions move up and through me. Um, I'm being given the opportunity to allow these emotions to be present um, and to transform them in my being. So this is what I want to share with you today. And I want to encourage you with maybe playing or trying this idea of allowing within your life um, and recognizing the opportunity to um, evolve your emotional reaction and the thought processes that go on in relation to the things that you don't wish to allow in your life and how this is a great opportunity for transformation for you within okay um, i'm reminded today of a verse in the bible that i learned a long long time ago um, that speaks an awful lot of this process um, it's romans 12 1 and 2 and it says follow therefore i urge you brothers in view of god's mercy to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and pleasing to god this is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. So what this speaks of us is how our lives are a sacrifice in the processing process of allowing we sacrifice so that the will of the Father can work and live through us. And in the process, we do not conform to the patterns within our minds. We release them um, and we renew our mind. Then we know what is right and good in our lives. Then we can make the decisions to move forward into all that life has for us. Uh, so I, I leave you with that now, today. I encourage you to allow and to release the resistance that wells up when you choose, when you want not to allow. Um, if this has been of benefit to you, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button. Um, I'll be doing more videos on what it means to allow in life um, and how that transforms and releases us. So subscribe for more. Um, I hope you've had a great day and I'll speak to you again soon.